Hello there, it's 5am and I thought, why don't we have a chat? Same, I know. Why am I up at this ghastly, godforsaken hour? It's because it's that time of the month that Mademoiselle dreads as a woman. And so I don't feel very well. And so I'm up at 5am, my boyfriend's fast asleep, and I want someone to chat to. So I thought, why not show you my Halloween decorations at 5am? No one asked for this video, but it's j I'm just going to chat away. So my kind of Halloween that I like is cosy, cute pumpkins. P -p -p pumpkins Pumpkins just a collection of pumpkin decorations here to be honest with you that I've accumulated over the years. I don't like scary Halloween, I normally have a load of candles and it's really witchy and cosy and then I have all these like abandoned pumpkins that I found in various charity shops and I have them all out so I'm just going to get straight to it and show you what I got. First up I have these stunning fairy lights that I got from like a bargain shop years ago and they are tiny mini pumpkins and they're really nice. I have one pack of them and then I have a second pack of them that has no has no pumpkins on them because I'm the most ungraceful person in the world and yeah they just pop on the pumpkins so I'm gonna get someone who's not a beast like me to put them on and sit there and do it. The boyfriend, the boyfriend will be doing that. <laughs> we all know he's gonna be doing that. So first up, hi, <laughs> guess what it is, put in the comments, guess before I tell you, it's a bird, <laughs> I found it in a charity shop and it's all like battered and beaten and hasn't been very well looked after but I just love it, it's like abandoned animal and also it fits on your shoulder perfectly. Look how nice it is. I then have a second one, which they're obviously, <laughs> they're the same make, they're made at the same time, they're quite old, but they look so different because they're so battered. So this one, I mean, there's character, there's like feathers just, just hanging there. So I'll, I'll pop them to there. I like them, they're all battered, a little bit abandoned, and now they're here with their mother. I then have a abandoned bat that I found, this was a charity shop find, it has little red eyes and then you hold it on the elastic and it's quite an old bat, it's also got really nice detail on it, so it's made of plastic but like the wings, the face, everything has really gorgeous detail on it, so I have that little bat. I then get ready for the pumpkins, <laughs> okay, this is like the only other stuff that I had pumpkin oh oh baby oh baby oh lord okay you fly down there so pumpkin one got from a charity shop it's a tiny little ty toy pumpkin really like that one pumpkin two <laughs> got from a charity shop it's a big pumpkin if i see them in charity shops i just cannot let them go they have to be with me i'm the pumpkin mother i have to have them in my house all lined up Love them. I keep these pumpkins out all year round because I just think they're really cute. And also the majority of my Halloween decorations in the last place I lived in, I just kept them up all year round. So that's probably what I'll do here. I'll keep it up till we move. I got this in France. In France they have something called Vide Grenier's, which are like equivalent to UK boot sales. And when I was on holiday, where we were staying, the town had one. And I got this gorgeous embroidered cushion. And then you can tie this bit wherever you want, so I tie it around the door handle. And it's got a little witch, pumpkin, a broom. Girl, stay with mother. God. It's got little spiders on it. Just really lovely little cushion that someone's embroidered. And then I then have a plastic pumpkin. I then have more plastic pumpkins. Another one. This is probably one of my favourite decorations. It's a tiny little pumpkin. And I don't know where this is from at all. It doesn't even say on it. It just says polyester in like big letters. I don't know, but I think it's really cute. That was a charity shop find. This charity shop find is really cute. It's like a wind up pumpkin and it walks. We're gonna try and do it. Oh my God, you're being so badly behaved. Okay, off you go. Okay, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Should we see if we'll do it on my hand? Oh, oh God. So yeah, I have that. <laughs> I then have these pumpkin Halloween lights, which they are all mini little pumpkins, and this is just battery operated, very much like that. I have this tinsel, which I bought the other day that I showed you, where it's like gold, silver, orange, and it's got little 
spiders on it and it's just really really cute i have this tinsel which i use for christmas as well but i feel like it's more halloweeny it's kind of witchy i got it from paper chase and it is this really thin pencil tinsel it's multicolored with little stars on it and i just really like how like witchy that is i want to like do some kind of craft thing with that i then have oh, more mini pumpkins mini pumpkins i don't know if you can put tea lights in them because they're plastic like tea light holders plastic i'm not sure how that would go in this one i have loads of mini spiders the whole thing is like filled with mini spiders and then i just put that around my like candle display i then have this which i showed you one like this earlier and they're supposed to light up but i got them like years ago so they probably don't work anymore and then we have this little like keychain that i put on the top of it like a little witchy one and then i have get ready da, 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 da. it's mad this is you're supposed to put them on the wall i have four of them and when i was at uni i put them around the wall of my uni room and it just looked absolutely mental and i love it and they're plastic so they're like 3D plastic. They have little things on the back of them so you can put them onto, straight onto the walls. But I, I blue tack them. And then when eventually we buy a house, which probably won't be like that soon away from us, when we buy a house, I will reveal the plastic. I'll take this off and I'll stick it directly to the wall and just keep them up because I think they're so lovely. I really love them. So I'm gonna put them up the top of my ceiling, around the wall. That's where I'm going to put them, but I'm going to blue tack them. And then when we have our own haunted, creepy little house, I can actually glue them to the wall. That is going to be like a good moment. I'll film it. I'll commemorate it. We can share it together. Um, I have like loads more of these. So just loads of these little mini pots. I think it's supposed to be little treat pots, but I just, I put them around everywhere to be honest with you. Tell me what you think about putting tea lights in plastic. Is that mad? Is that not? Those are all my Halloween decorations. So you can see they're like weird rescued <laughs> pumpkins and deranged birds. I always get candles for Halloween. So this is the candles I got this year. I got these from Lidl and these are lavender candles. And I just put them around everywhere. And then I have this, which isn't really Halloween, but it's two toadstools that I got from Lidl. I'll get them out so we can have a little look. I haven't actually looked at them out of their packaging. <laughs> So these are like ceramic, really nice made toadstools. Look how gorgeous that is. And then they've got like kind of a dirt and grass effect around the bottom of them. Love them. I'm gonna keep these up all year round. This one is really nice. Did anyone used to read when they were younger noddy books? I didn't used to read, but my dad used to kind of like make up these noddy stories with those characters. Oh, look at like the top of it as well. Oh, Jersey. Um, and I swear someone called Big Ears lived in a toadstool. I sound mad, but I, it's true, true story, really happened. <laughs> I swear he did, so I think that's why I love totals, because it reminds me of being a child. Oh, craft ideas, craft ideas. This wooden crate, there is no way I'm throwing this away. Oh, do you know what I could do with this? It's got kind of like hay at the bottom of it, and I could put candles in it, like my big pillar candles in it maybe, and then all the wax will melt over this bit here. Any other craft ideas of what I can do with it? Let me show it to you. So it's this crate, it's got like a full on wooden base on the bottom. What can I do with it? Because there's no way I throw this out. It's too nice, it's too like creepy and nice. Oh my God, maybe like a little bird home, like a bird perch. Oh my Lord, but they do fly free, so I don't know. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you for sharing this time with me and sitting with me and listening to my babblings on. I don't buy Halloween stuff really at this, like before Halloween. I buy it after Halloween in the sales. So that's where I've got a lot of this stuff. A lot of it is just charity shop finds. I would like to get some more buttered birds for my Halloween collection. And I'll just get them from charity shops. So this is it. Farewell. Halloween vibes to you all. I'm gonna go to bed and sleep now. Okay, <laughs> bye. See you very soon for another video. I've been making loads of videos recently. I hope you've been enjoying them. My favourite thing is to like chat to people in the comments. So leave a comment down below and we can have a little natter. Okay, I'm off to bed. Good night.